welcome to my lesson on Unit 5A Food Production, How to Make Yoghurt. The main ingredient in yoghurt is milk. Obviously later sweetness, flavours and fruit preparations can be used to flavour the yoghurt. I'm going to use this bio yoghurt starter culture. Now bacterial cultures, the main starter culture, are Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. The function of the starter cultures is to ferment the lactose, the milk sugar, to produce lactic acid. The increase in lactic acid decreases the pH and causes the milk to clot or form the soft gel that is characteristic of yoghurt. The fermentation of lactose also produces the flavour compounds that are characteristic of yoghurt. Probiotic cultures may be added to benefit human health by improving lactose digestion, gastrointestinal function and stimulating the immune system. So the first step is to pasteurise the milk. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it to 95 degrees for 10 minutes. This is going to reduce the number of spoilage organisms in the milk so that there's no competition for the bacteria that I'm going to be adding as a starter culture. Uh, if I pasteurised it after I'd made the yogurt, then I'd remove all of the bacteria, which could be good for our, our digestive system. So we want to keep those bacteria there. So we pasteurise it at the beginning, get rid of any nasty microbes that could be in there that would grow later and spoil the food. Um, and they would also compete with those bacterial cultures. So I'm going to get this to 95 degrees C to start off with. So after 10 minutes at 95 degrees, I'm now going to homogenise it, which means mix it up so that it improves the yoghurt consistency. And then I'm going to cool the milk. I'm now cooling the milk by putting the pan into a bowl of cold water. And I want to bring it down to 42 degrees C because that's the ideal temperature for the bacteria to grow at. While I'm doing that, I'm going to sterilise the equipment that I'm going to be using next. To sterilise the equipment, I'm going to pour boiling water onto it. This is to prevent other unwanted microbes spoiling the yoghurt. So now it's at 42 degrees C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the milk into my container and then I'm going to add my culture of bacteria to make the yogurt. So here we go, hopefully not spilling too much of it. Here goes my milk at 42 degrees C, which is now pasteurised, so it's got no unwanted microbes. And then I'm now ready to add the starter culture. Here's my starter culture. So this is for a litre, I've only done a pint of milk, so I'm going to add half of the starter culture. There we go. And then using the sterilised spoon from earlier, so there's no microbes on it, I just mix that up. Now I've got to go on to the holding stage. This is when the milk has got to be held at 42 degrees C until a pH of 4.5 is reached. This allows the fermentation to progress to form a soft gel and the characteristic flavour of the yoghurt because basically the bacteria have broken down the lactose, the, that sugar in the milk, to produce lactic acid and that reduces the pH and therefore changes the structure of the proteins in the milk. This can take several hours, normally about six hours. So I'm now going to put my milk with the starter culture into this thermos flask. Now this thermos flask is full of warm water which is going to keep it at 42 degrees C. I'll put the lid on and I'll just leave that for about six or seven hours. And just like in Blue Peter fashion, this is one I made earlier. And so what we can see here is this jelly-like structure. Mmm, delicious. So there we have it, how to make yoghurt at home.